Hey everybody, Brett from Stardies Gaming here, back with another episode of our Kenshi Let's Play. So, uh, I've been hard at work between episodes, as you'll see shortly here. You can tell, obviously, that our party's expanded quite a bit, and this isn't even the full extent of it, so I'll introduce you to all the new people first, and then kind of show you what I've been working on, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do today. But we are going to go on an adventure, so I'll say that much now. This group here is going to be the Adventurers, and there are several new additions to this group. Skinner has come from the hub and is going to be joining us here. Khan is uh, now fully a fighter. He's not going to be doing any more work. And full disclosure, this is not the same Khan that we had before, uh, although we'll be treating it as such. Um, he is one of the uh, Black Dragon Genin that we recruited, I just made him look like Khan and gave him Khan's name, and then I took the old worker Khan and gave him a different name and different appearance. Uh, Riker, who you guys did meet in the last episode, Galen is new. Uh, he's the really tall, quite large man over here. Another Black Dragon Genin. Uh, Elena, who's also joined us from... Uh, did I say the hub before? I meant Squin. So Skinner and Elena have both come from Squin. Uh, same deal with Elena that we have with Khan, though. This isn't technically the same Elena, uh, but we'll, again, be treating it as such, because for a lot of these characters that were initially submitted as fighters, uh, it seemed, like it made more sense to just, you know, switch them over to these already better characters rather than trying to train them up from, you know, the starving bandits that they were initially. And since those starving bandits already had quite good laboring skills, you know, we'll put them to work elsewhere. Uh, Kao Chai, or Kao Chi, who is a completely new character, one of the Black Dragon Genin. And then we have Ferdinand and Red, two bulls that I was able to buy from some nomads. So they're both pups, but they will help us haul stuff around, and that'll be incredibly useful for uh, what we're doing today. So that's everybody that's going to be going on the adventure, that's part of the sort of, you know, warrior group. Also, Kat has some new gear, as you can tell, nothing too fancy, uh, but she does have an improved crossbow, so she's got a, what is that thing called again? Ranger, right. So she's got a better crossbow now, and uh, I think a few people have upgraded gear. Obviously, I've gone out of my way to equip these guys with um, armored rags, or whatever they're called, and some decent helmets. Most of the weapons are just things that we've scavenged or looted. Now then, for the hub, there are several new characters, uh, because we need a lot of people to do a lot of work. So, uh, Dominic is a new addition. He's going to be over here mining stone. Elian is taking Khan's old body, and he's this gentle giant here. He's a pacifist, so I should probably take that weapon from him. But he's operating our steel refinery thing, and actually he's got a decent weapon, so we should repurpose that. Halt is a dust bandit that uh, is working our construction material uh, facility here along with brick. Cork is new as well. Cork is going to be our farmer. Uh, he's operating a well right now. I have an automated well over here, but it's not getting power yet, so uh, we're just working with the regular one until we get that running properly. Jaren is helping Dominic with the stone mining out there. Uh, this is him here. He's got quite elaborate facial hair, but I don't know how well you can see it. There we go. It's also hiding his hair, which is fairly elaborate, too. Uh, who's this? Interesting. We is a new character. Uh, I don't recall what her initial faction was. It might have been Hungry Bandits or something. But I recruited her before I had the bunch of names that you guys threw me for... Um, suggestions on episode 8, so I just had to make one up. And the same is true of Ren, who is in Elena's old body. She's helping us over here operate this. So, we have um, a lot of new stuff, including these windmills. Now, unfortunately, I, I wanted to build them there because I thought that was an ideal place for them, but they don't actually reach any of the things that require power over here. So, it's kind of unfortunate. I would like to see if I can remedy that by building a battery on top of this and seeing if you know they'll connect to the battery which will in turn connect to this stuff out here but until I can actually build the battery um, 
it's a moot point. So these are producing power, but not actually doing anything else. Um, and then, let's see, we do have some new characters back in Squin, too. So Kurgan and Rusty have taken over for Skinner and Elena. So they're, you know, doing their work back there. Now, the reason why we're going on this adventure is because our research has really stagnated. We don't have the things that we need for it to continue. Namely, the engineering research blueprint things. They're like big red blueprints. And we don't have any ancient science books. So, that's what we're going to do today is try to find some ruins and collect those things so that we can get our research back up and running. Bucket, in the meantime, has basically just been shuffling materials back and forth from the trader, which is useful, but obviously he's got a more important purpose that we should be fulfilling. Vulcan is doing Vulcan's usual thing, although um, we don't have any iron plates at the moment, so he's just hanging out right here. He gave our prisoners there some food. But he's actually getting uh, considerably better. So the last several bladed iron clubs he put out were all uh, of the... Katin? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Anyways, um, refitted blade was what he was doing before. This is the next tier up, the first of the next tier. And he seems to be putting those out consistently now, so that's great. It may actually be worth making better weapons now that he can do that reliably. Although I will let him continue making these a little bit longer, just to ensure that, in fact, you know, it is a consistent thing. So... That's sort of what's been going on lately. Nothing too big. Obviously, some of the stuff we built in the hub is important, like this stuff. But, honestly, it's not that big a deal. Uh, it's just, I think, iron plates and a bit of copper. Which, yes, we are harvesting copper now. That's what this storage is for. And that is what Dust Rat and we are working on out here. Very hard to see, but this is, in fact, a copper resource. And it does occupy two people, so... I've been using that one rather than the ones on the other side, uh, but there are a couple over here as well. Oh, another important thing before we do anything else is I noticed there was a bar out here. So I've actually been um, selling and buying stuff uh, rather than going back to Squin or anything like that. To stock up on food, I just go here and buy out whatever they've got and it restocks fairly regularly and then whenever I get a bunch of loot that I don't want to keep, I'll just run it over there and sell it. That's also where we got the improved crossbow. So, pretty handy. I didn't notice that there before, but it is quite useful for selling stuff. Right. So, let's grab this entire group. There's actually more recruits that we could add to this group, but since they're a bit injured, uh, yeah, like this Black Dragon Genin is still a little bit beat up in the stomach. These dust bandits, um, I took captive fairly recently. They were just kind of wandering by themselves. And so I got a boss, which is great. The bosses are really good fighters. Um, and this guy's a bowman, so not as good, but still better than the starving bandit. Neither of them are in any shape to fight, though, and that's a lot of what we're going to be doing today, so can't bring them. But we'll grab our group here, and we are going to send them to Squin. And from Squin, I think we're going to be heading into the swamp because i know for a fact that there's ruins here now in the swamp at these ruins we're going to be running into blood spiders i pray that we're up to the task but luckily for us there are settlements in the area so if we find ourselves in over our heads we can retreat to shark or uh, any of the villages nearby but both of these structures i think are worth investigating and even if those two don't yield anything, I'm fairly certain that there's another ancient lab. I think it's like an infested lab out here. And I believe there's either one in that area or somewhere uh, in this area. I'll, I'll check the real map that's, you know, fully fleshed out just to be sure. But I think we'll want to launch this expedition from Squin. Just so that we can, you know, make one last check that we've got everything we need. So I'm going to send them all there, and I'm going to ask them all to move at the same pace. And off we go. We've got a lot of backpacks and stuff, uh, all of them filled with food, so we should be fine on that front. Obviously, we've got plenty of protection. Um, I'm bringing drone and grox too, so the city is going to be a bit exposed if anything happens. But worst comes to worst, 
We still have, um, Halt is a decent fighter. He was a former Dust Bandit, so he's actually quite good at fighting. And there are mercenaries and vagrants that we can hire if we need to in a pinch. So that's what we'll do if we need to. But otherwise, I don't think that'll be necessary. Let's check, because I, I did check recently, but just to make sure nothing else is headed our way. These bandit rages don't appear to do anything. I've, I've yet to see anything come of them. So, I, I don't know if they're ever going to show up. I don't know if the dust bandits we saw before were part of that or not. But there was only two of them. And that doesn't sound like a bandit rage to me, but I, I've never seen anything happen with this. And then Prayer Day is fine. Brick has... Um, one of the holy books, so he can go talk to them, and that'll be taken care of. We don't need to worry about them. And I'm bringing all the skeletons with Grox and Drone, obviously. But that is uh, just to help us. Because, again, with these blood spiders, I don't know if we're quite ready for it. But I know that the skeletons wreck everything else that they come across. Because they are in quite heavy armor with heavy weapons. And I believe they all carry repair kits, so they can actually treat each other. We'll just have to keep paying them along the way, but we have the money for it. So I think we'll be just fine on that front. So one thing I wanted to mention before we uh, jump back over to the other group is... There's a couple buildings I think I want to go ahead and start renovating. So this snail house right here I think will be one of them. And I'm thinking that that will be our barracks. Because it does have, in this larger round part, two stories. And so we can have one floor dedicated to combat training. And one floor dedicated to, um, like, storage, beds, things like that. But I think this is a good building for that sort of thing. Then over here, this big, I forget what these are called, station house... I think this station house is going to be uh, our main armor and weapon production building in town. What I'm thinking is I can essentially, you know, once we've built it, uh, sort of partition off either side. And then if we put in a, a place to sell stuff, it could be like, you know, right in the middle or something. But then to either side, we would have... Um, armor production facilities, and then weapon production facilities. The alternative is making this the barracks, because this also has enough space for all the different training stuff. But uh, I, I just don't know. I think I like this location better because it's a little bit closer to either gate, whereas this is further away, and there's no entrance to the town over here, so unless the enemies decided to attack the walls and broke through or something, deploying you know men out of this would be harder. But I don't know. Uh, feel free to suggest one way or another on that because I'm not going to do it right away. So I probably will be able to hear from you guys before I pull the trigger. All right. So we've arrived in Squin with our whole group here. We'll let um, Drone and his skeletons catch up. Uh, Bucket, what are you doing? Oh, you should probably go over here before they close up. I think he's... Yeah, he's selling copper. What are they doing? Interesting. Uh, let's do business. We'll unload all of that. And we'll see how much that nets us. Uh, 56. We were at, what, 43 or something before? So a little over 10,000, give or take. Go ahead and actually, rather than buying like that, Vulcan, put all that in your inventory. And then if Bucket initiates the conversation, we should be able to switch to Vulcan and just sell it straight from here and then buy the plates directly into his inventory. Efficient. Okay. Uh, sell that weapon while you're at it. Okay. Uh, we could buy more books, but they're not going to do us any good. Um, I'm pretty sure we've exhausted just about everything that requires the basic books. Uh, let's make sure we've got plenty of these queued up. And you can go about your business. Looks like I've already got you set to do that. Bucket, you can return in here for now. And you know what? I think we're going to bring Rex along on this journey. Rex, what is your speed? 
Uh, oh, your athletics is only one. What's your, like, max run speed? 10 miles an hour? Ooh. That's unfortunate. I mean, we're never going to get his skill up unless we do stuff with him, but at the same time, I don't want to slow this whole party down, and I know we're moving faster than 10 miles an hour. Um, let's try it. We'll see how well they move, and if it looks like it's considerably slower than the speed that they ran here at, then I'm not interested. Rex, why aren't you moving? There you go. Will you not leave the house? Like, what's going on here? And why are these guys following Bucket now? Um, Grox, did you lose your... Maybe Drone lost his escort. Let's see. Can I talk to any of them? We're still allied. Let's see. Yeah, I think we have to rehire them. Interesting. Well, they gave him a free heal. That's nice. Uh, one of them had a conversation option, but I'm not seeing it now. Let's see. Will they come with us? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I need you guys over here. Um, well, Rex can't come with us. Because Rex can't get out of the house. I don't know why that is. Um, I know we could just pick Rex up. And carry Rex outside, but I'm not going to worry about it. Because, again, I do think he would just slow us down. But we'll have to do something. Uh, when he's no longer a pup, I think it'll be a lot easier. Because he'll naturally gain better skills. Alright, so with that, we've got plenty of food and everything. So let's just start heading into the swamp. And I think we'll start, let's head to this swamp village. We'll go to the Swamp Village, and then from there we'll go to this ancient structure. If that makes the most sense. Alright, so off we go. Okay, so, uh, we are nearing the village. One of our skeleton bodyguards broke off to go after this blood spider. I want to see how he fares. Um. Wow. Okay. He did take some nasty hits there. I don't know if we should go back and loot that thing to make sure it dies. I think we're just going to keep moving. Hopefully they don't fall too far behind, though. I would like them to do a lot of the legwork for us here. I don't want to have a bunch of my characters injured and, you know, thrown over somebody's shoulder for a good portion of this journey. Okay, so here's the village. Um, oh, I thought that was a fight. Somebody's just spending money like crazy. There's no point going in yet. We have nothing to really do in there. I just thought this would be a good checkpoint. So I'm going to quick save. And then... Uh-oh. What's happening in Squin? Rusty has been targeted. By what? Probably some form of bandit, but I'm not seeing any. Let's check the map here. Yeah. What targeted him? Ah. Couple triangle bandits, huh? Well, you two had better make a run for it. Got some nomads there. Yeah, run to the guards. And hopefully you make it there and the guards will deal with these guys for us. We might be able to take one of them prisoner too. Are they both check? Because we could use more check. I don't know if we can recruit triangle bandits though. Because they are, a, excuse me, a modded faction. So, while they do have good stats, they're roughly equivalent to Dust Bandits. Um, I, I don't think there's compatibility between those mods. I could be wrong, though. So, we'll let them run. And in the meantime, I'm going to give you guys a move order. Uh, let's see. You are down here. So, I don't know what this is. Because I did check a map. And there was nothing here. So I have no idea what this structure is. This is, I think, a lost library. So there'll be books and stuff. Um, I guess let's go here first and just see what it is. 
and then from there we'll hit these ruins and from the ruins we'll go to shark and I think right about here where I said there's an infested lab so we'll want to hit that too because there's stuff there that we need but as long as they have a heading so that they can be moving while we deal with this other situation that is ideal okay so you guys are running bandits are chasing you taking weird pathing but they are chasing or at least that one is as long as we can get the guards to aggro on them though I think the guards will handle both yeah he's still on us or she I honestly can't tell ooh so much lag I think it's because we we've, we've been focusing on the the swamp and so the game has to kind of load this area back in okay uh, here come the guards I'm not gonna ask these guys to fight they're not going to have any chance anyway so we'll just let the guards handle it but I might grab this person after they go down yeah um, Kurgan run over there and see what you can do hurry up and grab them before somebody else does I don't know where the other bandit went but we'll at least loot these guys uh, you don't have a weapon so why don't you throw that on your back or something and sure take the armor why not we'll just grab everything did they heal this person not really no um that triangle bandit is almost dead though I don't know where the other one went there was definitely two but only one looked like it actually pursued us yeah I don't know. Well, I'd like to find out whether... Actually, you know what? I think I have a triangle bandit. Let's see. You are a dust bandit. You're a triangle bandit. But you're in a coma, so we can't recruit you. Uh, we'll test it. So, Kurgan, go ahead and pick this person up. Go throw him in the old prisoner cage, and then you can get back to work. Unless, of course, the other one's still coming after you guys. In which case, you'll just run back to the guards again. Let's see. Has Rusty drawn any aggro yet? I'm willing to bet the other one just fled. But you never know. They could come back. They could be waiting on the other side of this hill or something. Alright, so here's our first set of ruins. And, again, I have no idea what to expect here because, frankly, as far as the map I've seen is concerned, this shouldn't be here. So let's head up there, and we'll see what's in store for us. It might be completely undefended, which would be ideal, obviously, but um, for all we know, there could be iron spiders in there, there could be blood spiders, there could be skeletons, could be all sorts of things. The only way to find out is to go on in. Um, what I'll probably do is have everybody wait somewhere about here, and I'll send in Rook in stealth mode and see if you know we can't get a better idea of what's going on in there first okay so rook case the joint for us uh it looks kind of empty but there is lootables about not very many of them granted hmm okay well let's check this out parchment there's some leather damaged books um see what's in there what do we have Robotics components. Well, they are quite valuable. Uh, and they're not that heavy, so let's grab them. Out of trading range, but he's he's the one that opened it. Ridiculous. Okay. There we go. Uh, I'll send him upstairs. And if anything goes awry, we'll turn around. Oh, actually, before you do that, go check this out. Not worth grabbing that leather, even though we might be able to sell it for... A profit well it would definitely be a profit because we'd be getting it for free I just don't know that we want to waste our inventory space on that sort of thing so curious why this is here I have absolutely no idea maybe the map that I have downloaded is just older I don't know oh my god blood tarantula king 
Okay, Rook, you might want to leave now. Yeah, let's not have any part of that. Okay, good. He didn't break stealth. Right, well, that's as far as we're going in that one. Um, yeah, it's not worth testing it right now. We'll keep that in mind, though, and we'll come back when I think we're better prepared for something like that. But uh, definitely a, a hard pass right now. Tarantula King's Lair. Oh, I guess I should have checked my map after we discovered it. That must be a mod, because that's not on my map. <laughs> well, we'll go check out the Lost Library now. Oh, I'm so glad he didn't aggro that thing. Luckily, his stealth is pretty good, or we would have been in very serious trouble there. Okay, so a bit of an unfortunate situation here. Uh, we lost the contract on one of our groups of skeletons while we were trying to swim through this thing, and so they got away from us, and I think they've decided they want to go fight that blood tarantula king. So I'm going to send Rook in there and sneak mode and at least try to see what's happening with that now if they look like they have a chance we might go in and aid them but otherwise oh they're just hanging out okay well that's good to know uh we'll want to rehire them then i'm looking to hire some bodyguards we'll pay them for two days okay you guys would rejoin us down here we need to find a better way around i don't want to be swimming through the water like that especially because the skeletons have to like walk they can't actually swim. So we'll have to find a better way. I just wish the map was a little bit more clear on... I think we need to backtrack. I think we have to go to like there. I think we can actually get across right here. There is some water, but it's fairly shallow in comparison and also not very far across. So... Not ideal, but it looks like it'll work. Oh no, Rusty's being attacked. Uh, oh, it's Starving Bandits. Great. Um, where's Kurgan? Alright, I need the both of you to stop what you're doing. And... I guess Kurgan, you can keep doing whatever you're doing. Do you have a bunch of copper on you? Like, what do you... Did you just deliver copper, maybe? I don't know. But Rusty, you better run. Oh, great, they got your leg. Okay, good. Run, run, run. They'll follow you back. I know we can recruit those guys, so... That'll at least be one prisoner we can have join us. Um, oh, good, there's a guard. Making announcement. What is what is this announcement? Smuggling check? Um, sure. <laughs> okay, we'll take care of that. Right, Rusty, come back. And you know what? Do you... God, this lag. You don't have anything on you. I think Kurgan has a first aid kit. So, Kurgan, can you treat Rusty? No. Not going to do anything. You have a first aid kit. Why can you not treat him? Rusty, come over here. Hopefully my frame rate will, will recover. And then if you could just patch up your friend there. It's not letting me do it. I don't know why. Well, I'm going to let the game load a bit just so I don't have to deal with this stutter. Okay, so this triangle bandit is awake. And we don't appear to have any ability to talk to her. So I don't think we can recruit them. In that case, what I'm going to do is just pick them up and take them to the city jail and leave them there. Because if I set them free, they might try to attack me. If we set people free, what generally happens is I think we get a little bit of a boost with their faction. But since we're at like minus 100 with these guys, I don't know that it will make a difference. So I'm just going to go dump them in the city prison. And if you could put that starving bandit in there, that would be great. And we'll have to do the same thing with this Triangle Bandit, too, because obviously they're not going to join us. Okay. Alright, so here we are. Uh, the plan is going to be more or less the same in this case. We're going to let Rook kind of scope the place out first from the inside, and then we'll go in. It looks like... Oh, don't tell me we have nobody that can pick this. Really? Even with... 
I guess your lock picking is not that high. Uh, we're gonna have to go buy tools or something. Damn it. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else we can kind of train up our lock picking on. Uh, whoops, why did I hit that? Well, there's books around, at least. Um, anything else? Skeleton repair kits. Oh, good, there are tools just lying on the ground. Perfect. We'll have to see if those will be good enough to actually do it. Um, there's actually a couple things in here we'll want to pick up. Like, for example, like electrical components are quite valuable. Um, power cores we need to make batteries. That's the only reason I haven't made batteries yet. So, anything like that we're going to want to pick up. Also, like capacitors, I think, are quite valuable. Um, but yeah, so I guess let's have everybody set up here. And then Rook, if you could grab those tools. Where did I see them? There's some. Go grab those tools, please. Rook, no. Where the hell are they? There. Collect item. Perfect. He's going to do it this time. Okay, you have the tools. You do. Let's see if we can't use them on this door. Use tools. Well, that was convenient. It's going to take a while, but it will work. Okay, we are in. Now, I don't know what to expect, and unfortunately, I just realized that Rook is being tailed by these skeletons. So Cat is only slightly worse at stealth than him. I'm going to have her scope the place out. Because obviously I don't want to be followed. Okay, so there are a couple of books in here, some parchment and stuff. But ultimately, not what we're looking for. We will grab the books, but let's head upstairs. And see if maybe there's something else that we can make use of. Um, power cores and books. Oh, those are outside, though. Uh, what's happening? Oh, we got blood spiders. Okay. Well, the skeletons have engaged. Uh, Ruka, feel free to help out. Um, yeah, attack unprovoked. Khan. For whatever reason, they're not directly hostile to us, so... I'm gonna have to do this, like, very painstakingly, which is quite annoying. But I do want to help our skeleton bodyguards here, because if they die, then we don't have protection. Skinner, um, oh, why did I bring this crap? You were supposed to go sell that. Uh, I'll just dump it on the ground, probably. None of this is of any value. At least not really, anyways. Uh, I didn't mean to trade that to somebody. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, we know that it's safe in here, so I'm going to have our two best lock pickers, Rook and Cat, start um, grabbing, or not grabbing, but unlocking these things if they're locked, which it doesn't look like they are. Uh, great, nothing. And nothing, once more. What about these over here? These aren't locked either. Okay. We'll have to check that, but ultimately it doesn't look like there's going to be anything. So we killed those blood spiders pretty easily, but what we need to do is make sure that we take their teeth so that they do not get back up. Where's the other one at? Should be two. There it is. Con, I'm going to let you have them. Somebody needs to do it. Just, again, we don't want them coming back for any reason whatsoever. Uh, what do we get here? Damaged books. Wow, okay, so this is not a great place to come if you're looking for loot. Uh, Rook, could you grab that book at least? There we go, we'll grab this one. Old map. Let's grab that and see if it might be useful. Can we do anything with that? Old map of some other, probably fictional continent. Pretty useless, but maybe you can get some money for it. Uh, they actually do sell for a decent amount, considering. I'll hold on to it, but I might have to just ditch it later for inventory space. Okay, so let's grab you two and head back downstairs. We'll grab the remaining books in here. And that'll be that. Okay, there's one. Let's get the other. Okay. 
Okay, and the last one. Is there anything else in here that we want? There's another old map. I think I'll grab it. Because they don't weigh anything, so... We can always sell them, if nothing else. Uh, there's one there. There's one here. Is that it? Uh, I don't need to be wasting a bunch of time on that. Oh, I almost missed that, though. Cat, can you pick it? 5%. Sure, let's... You're supposed to be the thief here. Rook's supposed to be the assassin, so we'll let you practice on it. We might be here a while, though. Alright, I think Cat finally made it in. And what do we got here? Ancient military documents. I'll gladly accept those. Uh, some engineer's maps. I'll gladly accept those as well. Two ancient science books, so at least we got something out of that. And research for a giant sword. Interesting. Uh, I'll definitely take that. Okay, and then these are just damaged books. We have no use for them. Did that help you with your lockpicking at all? Uh, not a lot, actually. She must have uh, succeeded fairly early. Alright, so if you two could um, make your way back out to the rest of the group. While she was doing that, I've had Ruka kind of running around grabbing the stuff out here that might be valuable. So like these copper alloy plates, for example. I don't remember if armor plating is particularly lucrative. 5 kilograms, 605 is the average price. Um, so it looks like copper alloy plates are probably better. Let's um, just leave those. But yeah, anything that might be of value to us, I've been having Ruka grab. Anything else? Uh, there's another copper plate there. And, oh, there's some here. And there. I'll have to check on that skeleton eye. I don't remember if those are worth anything. Oh, and there's... You can't pick it up, huh? Uh, I guess her inventory's full. We'll need to trade her gear over. She's carrying a um, thieves backpack, so while this does reduce encumbrance, you can't stack things other than books. So, what we'll need to do is get somebody who can stack things, like Rain. Unfortunately, I think Rain's full of food. She's got a lot of food on her anyways. Um, Cat, you have a ranged weapon? Let's see, we might be able to clear some of this stuff out, because we can learn it. So, right-click to learn new map locations. This is going to show us a lost armory. Okay, um, let's learn this one as well. Another lost armory. Okay, where would those be? Is that this? Nope, that's the hub, obviously. Um, where would that... Is that this? Yeah, because it's highlighted in green. So that's one of them. Uh, it'd be nice if... Oh, it does show it here. Okay, and the other is way out in the southwest. Good to know, at least. Probably would never find those otherwise. Okay, um, what else did you have in your inventory? This giant sword blueprint. I'll definitely learn it. Um, I can't tell. We have the requirement, apparently, because we wouldn't be able to learn it otherwise, but I can barely see... I think it says heavy weapons. I'm very curious to see what that'll do. And then we have some treasure maps. Right-click to learn new map locations. This is just going to show us where the southern hive is, I guess. And then a post-ancient workshop. That'll be helpful. Okay, so that's the ancient workshop out there. I would wager. And then this should be... Where was that? The southern hive there. Yeah. Okay, anything else that we can learn from what you picked up? Um, those old maps, no. This will show us where the Deadland Workshop is. I know where the Deadlands is, so I think that's pretty obvious where it would be. That's going to be out here. Uh, yeah, there it is, and it's hostile, apparently. Ooh, what's that? Hmm, I wonder if that's a different Deadland Workshop, because this isn't highlighted in green. I don't know. We'll have to find out someday. But yeah, her inventory is a bit full of food. So there's not a lot that we can pass over there. But anything we can stack really needs to be traded. Because obviously Ruka needs to be able to hold some other, some other stuff. Um, I think the tools can be stacked. Yeah, so let's get all those over there. 
Got a couple skeleton repair kits. Um, somebody can carry all those copper alloy plates, I'm sure. Skinner, you've got a backpack. Uh, you do have some crap in there, but we'll fix that, I guess. Okay, so move that here. I might just ditch that. These can definitely get dropped. 250, yeah, just get rid of it. Okay, copper alloy plates over there. Electrical components as well. Um, I might consolidate all the books to one place. The motors can go there too. And I guess the skeleton repair kits. Okay, so he's going to be quite heavy, but that's fine. And I think that's pretty much that for this area. So quick save. Just in case the game crashes on me, I don't want to have to deal with that all over again. And then let's see. We've hit the two locations over here. So I think we'll head to Shark. <clears throat> all right, we've made it. And in one piece, no less. So this is Shark. Um, we've never seen it in this playthrough. On camera anyways. Rook did visit this place briefly uh, for an experiment where I was trying to see if we could declare war on the Holy Nation without uh, having to go all the way up to their territory uh, and I was doing that by um, attempting to assassinate the uh, Holy Nation diplomat that lives in the, um, the bar here. Unfortunately that did not work so I you know reloaded a previous save and just had Rook run home uh, is this the bar? It is. Kind of interesting looking. While we're here, I'm going to keep an eye out for recruits. Because if I could get like another skeleton recruit, I would be very keen on that. Um, or just any, any different races, honestly. I'm kind of tired of humans at this point. So if we can get some hivers, some... Skeletons, some Shek warriors, I'm down for all of that. But I think this is as good a place to end the episode as any. We'll probably, well I say stay the night, but I don't know if we'll actually be doing that necessarily. But anyways, we'll rest here for the time being, and then in the next episode we'll continue our adventures in the swamp. And that will most likely be out here where there is an infested lab, I think right about in this area so we'll check that out and I don't know if there's anything else worth looking at in the swamp so we'll hit that place up and assuming we get what we need we'll be headed home we do need to pick up at least a couple more ancient science books if we want to be able to advance to tier 4 research and we definitely do want that so if we don't have any luck there which we should be able to get at least two ancient science books from that. I know that down here there are some ancient science buildings, ruins, whatever you want to call them, that aren't guarded. However, there is a lot of other stuff in the grid, is what this area is called, that tries to kill you. So, basically you need to go in very fast and very quietly. So somebody like Rook, uh, maybe Rook and Cat together could do it, but it's not exactly the type of expedition where we send the whole group like this. Um, it just wouldn't work. So I'm not sure what the best way to handle that would be. Maybe Rook and Cat with the uh, Shinobi Thieves backpacks just so that they can carry a little bit more but stay light. I don't know, but we can certainly plan that if it becomes necessary. And it will be necessary sooner rather than later. So uh, we'll definitely think about it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Kenshi with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.